Hello and welcome to the Control Panel Podcast. This is episode zero, I guess. It's a pilot. Uh, we're doing a pilot, yeah. We're supposed to, well, we're introducing Control Panel, what it is. I guess we should also introduce ourselves. Yep, I'm Jacob. I'm Jack, and we are two of the Control Panel hosts. We have two others who are... Not here. Not here right now. They've, uh, they've, they're late for a deadline, um, so that gives you an idea of the type of content we'll be putting out We'll be late. putting forth to you guys <laughs> late and uh, <laughs> rushed out. Not really, not yeah. really. That's a joke. Um, <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're handing in something to a lecture, and they'll be along probably halfway through this. So, so you can they may walk that. in, and that, that's all good with us. <laughs> wear it out, wear it out. And we just like, roll. That's, that's how we'll edit them in to this bit. <laughs> but no, welcome to Control Panel, guys. We are a group of university third-year students who are creating, breaking into the games industry content in the Tees Valley, looking at how game designers do it, how they, they fulfill that role of, you know, creating a team, indie devs, and actually go forth to create projects and games. And... We are aspiring journalists who want to look at that in our area. You and just see the succession of games and how it's becoming the largest entertainment industry. We we really want to boost that in our local area. So welcome and thank you for listening to to the first of many podcasts and many you know documentary styled videos that we're going to be going along and we're going to be delving into. In we'll be sure area. to disappoint. Yeah, we'll be sure to yeah <laughs> sure to disappoint. But As, no. um, I, mean, I think the way we see it is that the games industry is just kind of less transparent than say Very like a film industry or the music magic. industry yeah, you don't you don't you don't see a whole lot of the inner workings they keep it under wraps a lot mm. and there's so much that goes into a game and we only see the end product when actually there's a huge cycle that we can really delve into and you know only seeing the end product is kind of depressing when you think about what goes into a game you know and we really want to kind of underlay those wraps we want to look at games in the local area and maybe if we can internationally get, get other developers on here and have a look at how they create a game in every stage, not just the end product, or not just the mid product, but actually, what stage is in is in progress and what stage is in production? And I mean, at. a good point that Alex or Connor raised, one of them, um, is that with games, you only ever see like the figureheads, you only ever see the Todd Howards Todd or the Hideo Howard Kojimas. Hideo you never Kojima. see. We want to kind of. Corey Barlog. Yeah, we just want. We want to kind of really get to the average game developer and see yeah, how see they came into it. In the local area, there are many. That's the fortunate thing about the Tees Valley is there's loads of aspiring games, indie teams, and they're really. Coming up, loads. There's, there's too many because of obviously you know the area, the steelworks closed down and everyone's into technology now. So we've got loads of people that we can actually just casual dudes that we can talk to and be like, what got you into games? What got you into creating games? What got you into aspiring to, you know, aspire into this career? So that's the fortunate thing about our area. We can really look at those people. Maybe the type of game developer that normally wouldn't you wouldn't see on IGN or exactly, the GameSpot. Yeah. Maybe what not your reason? charismatic dude like Todd Howard with his many secrets. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, one of our um, first leads, if you will, is uh, we've got Fox Bite Games, who are creating Beat Your Meat. Beat Your Just, Meat. Uh, I'm going to like butcher what it is, so I won't even... It's a, it's a game where you play as farm animals and you beat each other with Yeah, I was going to say it's a little kind of Double entendre there. Beat him up. We're it's a, a double entendre. It's a double entendre. Um, we're a 12 rated, right? How we're, we're looking at 12 rated content, so I guess... 12 rated. 12 rated? <laughs> 12 rated, absolutely not. I have 18 rated. Guests have, uh, oh, have, oh, wait, Alex and Connor are here. Okay, this Alex is professional. This is professional. Joined. We've have begun. Joined. Oh We've begun. We've begun. Hello. Have, You're hello. live Welcome. on air. Are we live? We're You're live. live. Alex. We're live. This, is, this is Connor. Hello. Hi. And this is Alex. Is that cute? Our two other co-hosts. Yeah, so we're just doing the introduction episode here. We're talking about Beat Your Meat. So yeah, we've just got onto Control Button. What is Beat Your Meat? Do you know? Connor, do you know what Beat Your Meat is? Beat Your Meat is a beat em up game with pigs and hammers mm-hmm. made by Foxbite Studios. Uh, I love the boy who's making it. He's called Nick. I'm, I don't love, love him. Just an average dude, guys. Just an average dude that will, will you know, be able to get his story. And that's the, so like kind of indie games you wouldn't normally hear about. Um, the smaller ones we are kind of the ones we want to broadcast. And other leads we've got, you know, they're at Launchpad, which is kind of like a hub for indie game development. Yeah, almost. Launchpad is an incubator of indie teams of loads of developers coming together. We've got another one about... Um, was it Many Cats Many Studios? Many Cats Games and their Many Cats Studios and they're revolving around how they're getting disabilities and people with learning difficulties into games and I feel like they create games. I'm not too sure about the story they there. Had but... a, they had a blog post on their website about the ad- Microsoft Adaptive Controller. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, I imagine that'd be a good thing to talk to them yeah, about. It's like how do you see the bigger there. industries kind of pulling yeah. disabled gamers into the into the industry? How yeah. how diversity is is being pulled there? How you know we're really bringing out. The yeah, I've seen a thing on Twitter. Uh, 
when all gamers can play, we all win. So yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah, exactly. There was that Super Bowl ad not too long ago, wasn't it? There was also that Xbox ad that they did. Yeah, um, the Super Bowl one. Yeah. Which kind of, you know, really bringing all types of gamers into all the 21st century. Yeah, everyone can be a gamer. Yeah. So why not? Li- why limit that? Yeah. So that'd be really cool, especially if it's in the local area. So too. the types of content we're really looking to do is we're going to get, obviously, like professional interviews as well as, I don't know, maybe if they can show us off their games, there'll be more casual stuff like Let's oh, Plays and stuff. Um, that streams, maybe. Death yeah, streams if we can work if... out the enigma that is Twitch. Yeah, plenty yeah. of chat. Ooh. Yeah. <coughs> Essentially. If we can do, if we can get in touch with other developers, we could even live stream them across on Skype and then do an like, actual live interview. That's something I'd love to do if we could get someone. We're all friends with people that work at Ubisoft, Rockstar. Yeah, so uh, yeah, my dad uh, is Bill Gates. Uh-huh. And Whoa. my mum is my um, Jim Ryan. My mum is Jim Ryan. My dad Sony. works for Microsoft and he knows your IP. So my fingers are in all of the pies. You get an idea of who we know. So. <laughs> yeah, we know everyone. Everyone. It's all about who you know, not what you know. So if you oh. ask, if you ask Bill Gates what control panel is, he'll be like, "Wow, the oh, control panel is the greatest son. journalism exactly. output." He is my son. <laughs> <laughs> Mufasa. Mufasa. Everything the light touches. Everything the light touches is the games industry. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's kind of Ooh. in this ramble. Hopefully, you've uh, discerned the type of content we'll be looking to, yeah. to make. <laughs> Sorry, we were late, but we're here now. Yeah. Um, this is the full squad. Yeah, this is the full squad. We've um, do we want to rep the? I suppose while we're here, we can rep the platforms that we're here. Like so, we're so we are on Twitter. Yeah, we're at can Catal penalties. C T R L C T R L penalties. T E E S. Don't forget the at at the beginning on the Twitters. We're on Facebook under the same, just control panel, I guess. And we've got our blog. We've got our website, which is like mmj.tees.ac.uk slash tees19 or something. Yeah. We've got YouTubes as well. We'll probably share it as bit.ly because, yeah, we're forced to have the URL. So <laughs> I, my apologies for that. Um, Uni Not on Instagram at the minute. I'm yeah, no, um, we, we tried to apply for Instagram, this but Mark... Is, this is hilarious. Mark, I Zuck- find it really Mark Zuckerberg personally sent me an email and was like, no. And that was it. <laughs> that was, was it. Like, you asked, I was like, okay. You yeah, so what happened? It's because we're explain. so dangerous. Like, we're going to just... Gonna be, just it's being blocked. Yeah, so instantly really? Alex signed up it's for Instagram. It's because he doesn't like Bill Gates. And we got deactivated immediately. <laughs> and they think they're like some Russian <laughs> Trump just, spam bot. Mark so. Zuckerberg has that feud with yeah. Jacob's dad. Talk about our favorite games so everyone knows what we're like. Yeah, that's a good idea. What's your favorite? Go clockwise. Have we talked about how... We love video games. I think our slogan, what you might find, is that as a group, collectively, we like video games. <laughs> we like video we're games. a fan of video games. We, we were discussing we... what type of website we wanted to create. We I'm were looking at all it. the templates and all the topics. We want politics, mental health. Wait a minute. We like video games. <laughs> so we thought, so let's, do. let's we create like a website video around like video, video games. games. We like Everyone video games. Everyone else is doing music. Video games are good. Eco politics, and we're like, video no, games. video games. The video most games. important thing of all. Video games. Video games. Video games. Video games. Video games. Video video games. games. Um, so yeah, I suppose favorites. You got a favorite game franchise, Jacob? I feel good. I don't like saying my number one favorite. There's so many different types of know. games out there, so oh, I'm, I'm okay. gonna go through a few. I so I my probably favorite type of game would be like narrative action adventure type single things player. so yeah single player um don't send us some review copies don't blacklist us don't blacklist us what's the latest game it's for free stay tuned yeah. stay tuned send us some loot boxes Anthem's coming out on Friday stay tuned <laughs> send me the General Grievous skin so on yeah, Battlefield 2 narrative single player action adventures stuff like you know the Uncharted's the Metal Gears Red Dead Redemption 2 it's a oh. recent love that favourite a lot of Resident Evil been playing recently like Resident Evil 2 remake we'll talk more about that in the next episode so make you. sure you tune in <laughs> yeah so there, those are some of mine I, I love open world RPG um, Red Dead 2 amazing Sky, love you, gotta love your Skyrim oh, I love your Skyrim so, iconic Fallout 4 a little bit of a letdown but it was still there still my sweet Fallout 3 better New Vegas bear. New Vegas bear. What's the best? Uh, I don't know about you guys, but Fallout 76. Fallout 76. (laughs) Fallout 76 is a masterpiece of game design. And I will strike (laughs) down. I will will strike down anyone. Revoke all loot boxes from anyone who's... I will burn (laughs) control panel to the ground. (laughs) Yeah, I've recently that. been playing Sea of Thieves. Ooh. Ooh. Mike, Microsoft's only, only good excuse. We can get some bargain repping. We can we see Rare. Run. We love the Rare. Admiral Spleech. <laughs> Spleech! Ooh. <laughs> but yeah, sea what? Of Thieves. <laughs> I can recommend Sea of Thieves enough. Everyone should play it. The one Xbox exclusive. Exactly. It's all right. Yeah. But it's still getting Ooh. Ooh. Caleb. Great. Get it. Whoa! You Don't get... diss no, my kidding. boy Master I'm Chief. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love him. Is it my turn? You got to think on it. It's my, my turn. Mate, I'm pretty old school. I like text games text that games. Aren't out anymore. <laughs> and were relevant for Farmville. Hipster Listen, Hipster my favourite like video game franchise of all time is either the Halo franchise or 
Oh, 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 What's the composer called? That. What's the composer called? I've got, but he enlisted uh, me. Add some in post. Yeah. I think it's. Well, <laughs> I used to know. It starts with an M. Martin. Martin. O'Connell. O'Connell. Mar- Marty O'Connell. Martin something like something O'Donnell. Like O'Donnell. Marty O'Donnell hired me. That was my voice. You just heard it. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not Marty O'Donnell, work. work oof. Something like that. Sorry, Mike. Anyway. I'm sorry. Anyway. Uh, Halo. Halo. Legend of Zelda. Ocarina of Time is the greatest game ever. Yeah. 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 <laughs> ba da da da. Uh, what else? I really like God of War. God of War, mm. boy. 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 boy, boy, Athena, <laughs> Athena, where are we recording this podcast right now? Athena, Ares. <laughs> uh, what else do I like? Fuck it out. The the timeline right now. The timeline <laughs> the is just the spike. <laughs> it's been spiked for like ten minutes. <laughs> I love that. It's all quiet now. <laughs> it's when we were Jack here. This was a civil discourse, and you guys gave me like. <laughs> I don't know. What, I don't know really. I've, I've read Dead Up Two, obviously the campaign yes. made me cry. Oh. The online made me cry also, yeah, but, but for, <laughs> for different, different reasons. <laughs> yeah. The ending of Halo 3 killing us every two seconds. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, I just really dig games that make you cry. Same. Ooh. In in many I ways. I get that, I get that. You feel me? Like, yeah, I, I like a bit of... I, I like, want to play that game about Dragon I've been a sad boy. I played Farmville and it made me cry. I have not played that Dragon I want to play that Dragon Camp Fair 3. Isn't that the latest Dragon Age game? No, I have to think of that. It's that Dragon Age cancer. What a segue. <laughs> Jack, why don't you tell us what your favourite game is? My favourite games are Dragon Age and Mass Effect. Bioware, Hikoff, uh, Fanatic right here. I mean, I haven't been new to Remember about that? It. What was that? My Remember first that words. Game that came out like, what was it? Mass Effect? Andromeda? Okay, we don't talk about the mess effect that is Andromeda. <laughs> the mess effect. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So Andromeda, it, my Mass Effect is my favorite franchise because Mass Effect Two is the best game ever, the best RPG yeah, ever. I prefer Mass Effect Three, mate. Mass Effect Two. Don't even, don't even go there. But Bi- Bioware. Bioware. What about Knights of the Old Republic? Mm. Okay, yeah, exactly, exactly. So they create phenomenal That's RPGs. The shack. The Mass, Effect, yeah. Mass Effect Two is my first ever RPG, so that's my favorite game because it's my first experience of it. You know, my first RPG was for the first time. Oblivion. Like, oof, you know. Ooh. So, <laughs> so Mass Effect 2, but Mass Effect, Dragon Age, Elder Scrolls, Fallout, I love those. I love RPGs, but Dragon Age, single player games. Single player games, yeah. They're no, all very it's much ironic less. though, because EA are actually effing up single Dragon Age and Mass Effect, because they want to do live service. Oh. <laughs> so, single player games from EA are now going to be multiplayer, and that's what Dragon Age and Mass Effect Multi single player. It's awful, it's really bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah are ruining my favourite in the, in the In the age of Battle Royale. How much Just battle royale can one royale if one must how battle much, how, royally? <laughs> how much wick could a John Wick wick? If a wick if John a wick, wick John could wick, John wick in could Fortnite. John wick. Couldn't you play as him in Fortnite? Yeah. yeah. The Reaper. Yeah. The Reaper. Ooh. Do you know you can play as Tofu in Resident Evil? What beats that? Just, what Just do you mean? In, Re- in Resident Evil you can play as Tofu. <laughs> John Wick needs your help. He's surrounded by <laughs> filthy no skins. <laughs> Click the support a creator button and type in Jack, while while we're on the subject of Dragon Age, ooh, you, ooh. your tangent. <laughs> ooh. Uh, um, <laughs> okay. Shut your mouth. Ooh. My tangent. I thought while um while we're on the subject of Dragon Age, you want to rep your other popular venture. What's my other popular venture? Jack Dorf. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I also have a YouTube channel called Jack Dorf Journalism. <laughs> uh, I do Dragon Age content, Dragon Age news, but Mass Effect content when it comes out. I, I remember the Mass Effect. I remember when Mass Effect Andromeda came out, and I. I had set up my YouTube channel. There's nothing on there, so oh, yeah. don't go looking for it. Yeah. I set up mine. YouTube.com forward slash Connor Callist. <laughs> Connor the Critic. Uh, it's it's one of them. And I followed Jack. I'm looking oh, yeah. at that now. Uh, <laughs> and I watched like a ton of your videos. I was yeah, I was on the hype train for oh, Mass Effect. I'm, I'm your biggest fan. I'm no, sorry, I'm not your biggest fan. Yes, right yes, <laughs> I'm your biggest fan. No. <laughs> Listen. I'm sorry for letting you down. No, you didn't let me down. <laughs> if anything, Bioware let me down. And I, it's right, I will say one thing. Yeah. I played Andromeda once. Yeah. At a friend's house. Yeah. I didn't like it. Yeah. I thought the cover based system was okay. Yeah, that's good. The combat's fun. The gameplay's like the best thing. The thing that I liked about Mass Effect 3 so much was the multiplayer oh. and the squad based. <laughs> So I was Mass like, I was cool. hyped that Andromeda was bringing that back. Yeah. Because I remember like spending so many hours with the Xbox Live buddies back in the Me day. Me too. Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. Like, oh. Getting the like. I played the demo. The rocket, launch, the rocket glitch. To to get the, yeah, all yeah, the rocket yeah, glitch, yeah, yeah. Including yeah. the Atlas things. Ooh. Oh, it was. <sighs> but damn Cerberus. Cerberus from Ooh, kill Killing. Yeah. I remember around <laughs> Andromeda coming out, Jack here, if you haven't already known, is like the biggest Bioware fan. So. He was very excited, understandably, for Andromeda. Oh, and it came out, <laughs> and <laughs> I remember the first day... Yeah, the first day he comes in, I'm like, oh, how's Andromeda? He's like, man, it's great, it's great, eight, eight nine out of ten. And then about three days later, he comes in again, he's in a noticeably worse mood. Uh, and I ask him, hey, how's Andromeda? He's like, mate, don't even... 
what would you rate out of 10? 5. And he's just like, he, he didn't speak for the rest of the day. <laughs> facial animations really sold it for me. It's, the it's walking animation. That is... Have you seen the romance scenes? I don't know. They're graphic. I'm not a, I'm They're soft core porn. I don't... I, don't I, I am a perv and I YouTube. YouTube <laughs> I am a perv and I YouTube the sex scenes. I was a perv yeah. and I looked at them and I was like, what the hell? Isn't one of them like pretty much just full softcore porn? <laughs> Basically, but it's ugly for the facial animations and you're like, what the hell? <laughs> but they spent all the animations on this. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. But I apologize if I let you down. Drew. You didn't let me down. Mass Effect Andromeda let me down. The thing is, they gave it to a team who's never made a game before and they gave them Mass Effect. Did did they they create a game before? the budget like a million dollars? Yeah, this right. will be an exclusive. All the budget to Anthem. We're going to find out the true story behind Andromeda, even though Jason Please. Schreier already did it. <laughs> Join me for the next episode of Hunt the Truth. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's a letdown, and that's unfortunately where my channel has been. Anyway, I feel like this, that, we're kind of getting off topic of the Control intro. panel. So control panel. Yeah. I feel like we kind of said all that needs to be said, though. We've, we did. We've tangented. Just we've join rambled. us this journey. Do we have join any us. kind words, really? Subscribe. Subscribe, like. Please like and subscribe. Please like Don't and forget sub- to subscribe. If you if you enjoyed this video, please dislike it. It's a podcast. Though. If you enjoyed this podcast, please dislike <laughs> it. Um, please Don't forget to please unsubscribe. dislike and unsubscribe. Yeah. Um, um, we'll see you next time. And yeah, have a good one. Love you. Bye. Bye. XOX. XO.